Uh, you okay? Seems worried about to me. Sup, YouTube? Welcome back to my Persona 4 Golden Line. Part 2. Um, after the first exciting episode, I still don't know nothing. Uh, actually, I did learn something. I learned if you hit triangle, it opens the menu. Uh, apparently, there is no subtitles in this s game. So I'm just gonna have to be quiet during cutscenes. Very, very quiet. Uh, how are you feeling? Ready to go back in the car? Uh, I'm ready. Hit the road. Help. During events, you can show the conversation logs by pressing the select button and skip events with the start button. Oh. What is the select button in this game? On this controller? Should be one of these buttons, shouldn't it? Is it cutscene starting again? Hello, old man with dog. Ooh, can I ride that scooter? Arrived at the dojo, my residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Okay, so we're a high school student. For some reason, we're coming to live with our uncle. We don't know why. We will be living here for a year. <laughs> All right, let's have a toast. Okie dokie. Am I holding a milk box? Do do do. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? We've discovered the mystery of why we are living with our uncle. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. Coolio. As long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. You got it. Throw my pants off right now. I'll do just that. Thank you for your kindness. Yes, sir. Mer. Can you go through the whole game being just a silent protagonist guy? Um, thank you for your kindness. Ah, do I want to be overly kind? Um, should I accept it readily? It's very un-Japanese. I'm not going to play this game as if I would be overly Japanese, though. Or stereotypical Japanese, I should say. I've never actually been to Japan. Uh... I'll do just that. Good. Good. Well, anyway, let's eat. Itadakimasu. <gasps> oh, who's calling at this hour? It's your wife, sir. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Yeah? I see. So, where is it? Down at the river. Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. It was horrible. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Okie dokie. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Why is that the little girl sounds like way louder than everyone than the adult? <laughs> Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? Already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Okie dokie, then. My dog is ruff ruffling around in my closet. It's starting to annoy the shit out of me. Do do do. This is awkward. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. I love rainy weather. It's the best. Let's eat. I'm more of a fan of like almost rainy weather, you know, where it's like super overcast, cloudy, cold, nippy, but not a little bit of drizzle every now and then. You find yourself alone with Nanako. No laws will be broken. Might want to strike up a conversation. Thank you for telling me that video game. <laughs> like the protagonist is such like a freaking cardboard cutout. The game I used to tell. The <laughs> I just love thinking of it that way. What does your dad do? Must be tough. Eh, yeah, let's do this one. It's always like this. Okay. My dad's a detective. Interesting. A spirit detective? And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Namatame. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. 
You can sue for cheating on someone in Japan? In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Oh, and that chick's getting screwed too. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Mm, not to the media. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Okay, okay so it's not June's, it's Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Juness, ah. Every day is great at your Juness. Do, is the, do, do, do they really, like, sing these little jingles? Is that a thing? I mean, I say that, but I guess there's, like, polka dot bikini, but that's kind of like a real song, isn't it? Aren't you going to eat? I don't need to eat. The game has not told me that I need food. <laughs> Help! You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okie dokie. What is this? Oh, that, that's the calendar, I guess. Whee! Look at me run. Uh, living room, it's raining outside. Just that the sound of rain hitting the rooftops. Tap, tap, tap. It's just the best. A quiz show is on TV. Uh, um, is that a loss? Leave her alone. Just give her right, just run up to her and just, <laughs> That's how my family was. Brothers and cousins and always fighting. Check. Because it's uh isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. <gasps> a bento? Open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it? Uh no. You left it alone. Okay, so I can eat food. I don't know if that does anything. So square is like a quick menu to like I can go outside to my room to any other areas you can go to. Triangle brings up this settings. Load, delete, return. X is obviously accept and whatnot. L1, R1 does nothing. L2, R2 does nothing. The these the touchpad thing does nothing. Start button does nothing. Options does nothing. Those do nothing. My room, entrance. You're tired from the long trip. You shouldn't be walking around. Huh. Interesting. Look at the little panda. Well, let's go upstairs then. Oh, I was like, what the hell was that pounding noise? This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Should we start unpacking, I guess? Tired from the long trip. You should rest. Arr. Check the TV. You're tired? Oh, the game is just telling me what to do. Like always. Oh, I don't like being told what to do. So you're in that rebellious phase where you get told to do something, you're going to do the opposite. Living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should be hurry to bed. Be hurry bed do. Something like that. Okay, I'm expecting the velvet room again. For the game to really kickstart here. <gasps> We're definitely in dreamland. Okay, what the hell are we on? A bunch of red blocks? Oh my god, it's a Tetris nightmare. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining like a, a dream, a night of being like in Tetris. <laughs> this is, the area is covered in thick fog. Was that a zombie noise? All you can do right now is proceed forward. Mm. 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 Ha ha, I will go backwards. Oh, can't do that. Forward it is. Oh, I got camera control now. Wee. Okay, so it's opposite. I like that. Can't move up and down. Okay, does not auto center though. So I'm not. Oh, it's very sensitive too. <laughs> so it's gonna be. Oh, I don't want to be moving the camera too much. It makes me nauseous. Oh, did you seek the truth? By did I mean do? Heard someone's voice. So square does nothing here. Triangle still brings up this menu. What the hell does circle do? A uh, circle auto centers the camera behind the character. It's good to know. L1, L1, R1's also a cycle. Of uh, it's the truth you desire, come and find me. Did you hear the voice from up ahead? 
L2, R2 still do nothing. So these are kind of much better cyclers. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Ha! Oh. Squarey door? Is it a window? Ooh, mysterious music. Intensifies. I'm holding a sword. So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm, <laughs> try all you like. Oh, lordy lord. Okay, triangle is rush. Attack, use your equipped weapon. I have a... What is it? It's kind of like a samurai sword, but it has a hilt. Uh, guard, attack, skill. Skill, use your persona abilities. Um, attack, attack, I guess. Seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Um, skill. I have Zhao. Cleave. Rakukachu. Rakukaja. 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 Uh, that takes 12 SP. I'll use cleave. Cleave on him. I'm s the did 10 damage. I see, indeed. That was very interesting formation. information. Um, attack again, I guess? I don't know what to do. You will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog. I'm wondering what the numbers up top. The surroundings. Oh, damn it. Getting thicker in fog, I guess. He's still there. I can still barely see him. Let's use this one. I'll use that. Oh, that's a buff move. <laughs> Dang it. My name is just Avdin. Okay, so should I have just made it Gears Avdin? I might have to restart this. Um, let's do Zhao. Let's see if this is some electric move or something. Miss! Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Um, attack. Attacks won't connect. Will we meet again at a place other than here? Hmm. I look forward to it. Losing consciousness. Uh-oh. Tuesday. It's 12th. Rainy day. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. Sounds like someone wants me to eat breakfast. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna be so stupid doing this. Um, you feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? Tetris. We already saw talked about that. Uh, starting school today, you should head to the living room. Okie dokie. <gasps> Big ass piece of toast. Good morning. Have you guys ever had a piece of toast like that? That is some Texas bread toast. <laughs> Pretty goddamn good. Good morning. Oh, more toast popping. Um. Okay. T uh, okay. Let's eat. You got it. Your father go to work. Uh, do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Oh, uh, the toast thing is like, yeah, whatever. Cooking eggs though for a little girl, you know. Not bad. Not bad. I don't even think I can make sunny side eggs. I never tried, but. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. To cook sunny side eggs, you just pour the egg in, that's about it. Makes sense to me. Um. You're starting school today, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm the child. My school's on the way, so. Let's go together. I honestly feel like I'm the little girl in this situation. Well, at least I'm the little one in this situation. <laughs> Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decided to head to school with Nanako. Transition. Tube. Uh, school zone. Samegawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. You got it. My school's this way. She's still very probably nervous around me. Da -da. Don't watch her walk off. It's weird. Is that a no parrot sign? <laughs> I didn't get a good look at it. A school zone intersection in front of the school. Biking student. A clumsy idiot, it seems. Oh, did he hit his nards? 
look painful. You should leave him be. <laughs> Looks like he fell like on his bar. Oh, that's happened to me before though. Like slipping off the freaking pedals and just like, oh, right on the crotch. It's not a good feeling. Not a good feeling at all. You've arrived at the main gates of Yosogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? One where I get all the females and the males. I want them all. They will all be under me. I wonder who the two students who stand out here are. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Moraoka. <laughs> I, it's fine. That's like the anime thing. You know, you got your bland characters that all have the same thing, and then you got your pop outs. <laughs> I love the way uh, Soul Eater did it, where it's like literally the background characters were just like gray blobs. <laughs> yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. I'm actually trying to go back to my school life and wonder. I had never had any of the bad teachers, but you always heard about them, so I got I kind of lucked out. Um, King Moron. Hey, you guys! I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? I guess that one sitting down is a guy, but it doesn't. It does not look like it. A transfer student from the city, just like you, huh, Yosuke? Short-haired girl. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah. Um. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Pain student. His name is Yosuke. Question mark. What's with him? Who knows? And she is the black-haired girl. <gasps> Screeching door. <laughs> Teacher looks like All such right, a. Shut your traps. My God. Has anyone ever seen anyone like this in real life? Like, like there's some anime designs I just don't understand. I don't know if it's like Japanese lore or something, but like these giant buck teeth that stick out. Like, obviously it's just overly dramatic something, but like there's some, there's a few of these. I can't name them off the top of my head. This is one of them. There's a, a eyebrow one also, and then there's some eye one. I can't remember, but there's some weird things that you find throughout anime and stuff that I just don't I'm understand. Kinshiro Moraoka. Your homeroom teacher from today forward. Does not sound like a good man. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Well, this teacher's going to be a cock block? What a, what a dick. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. That's literally, he's like, I'm going to be a cock block teacher. I see something, I'm blocking that either sex organ. <laughs> now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Yeah, this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. <laughs> what a dick. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. <laughs> what? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine being in a situation where that teacher actually talked like this. Especially nowadays. Holy crap, they would be freaking so in trouble. Uh, nice to meet you all. You calling me a loser? I like how you can actually respond to that. Do I want to confront the teacher right away, though, on the first day? I mean, I could get some badass cred, but I do want to be known as the bad... Uh, well, the, all the students hate him. I'll play it safe for today. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up! I'm honestly kind of speed. Obviously I'm supposed to hate this guy, but it's working way too well. Because he's annoying as shit. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes. In more ways than one. He said a naughty word. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. <laughs> abusing? I'm only gonna be here for a year, so I'd be you know, get in and out. Hmm. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Is that supposed to be like MySpace? 
Maruka, uh, Maruka uh, goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Okay, dokie, let's get on with this. I wonder if we're going to have to actually do classwork. <laughs> and listen to actual lectures. That'd be incredibly boring. He's the worst, huh? Pretty bad. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Literally, I have to. She's got a smiley face badge, some kind of badge, and a Pokeball badge. <laughs> um, Why well, yeah, I get to sit next to black-haired girl and short-haired girl? Uh, you hear people around talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Whiny student. Shut your traps. I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Okie dokie. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? I could try. I could try, I can try. Early morning after school. Okay, we made it through school. I wanna That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Okie dokie. So we can get everyone get up. <gasps> Attention now. all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Uh oh, something happened. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. <laughs> my dog is snoring. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Revolt. Revolt against him. Rise. Uh-oh. The popo. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. What, the announcer might be in this place? Oh, uh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. And then gossip ensues. Are you serious? <gasps> we didn't get to hear what she said. He said. Step, 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 step. Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Rumor loving student. <laughs> Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Rumor loving student. That's so good. Because there always is one of those. Sheesh. How much longer is this going to take? Like, oh my god. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Did ya? I love how they actually wrote. I love when games actually write out the dialogue, even if it's, you know, not English. <laughs> you know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's okay. I just realized the pictures blink. <laughs> kind of disturbing. They stare into your soul. And get closer and closer. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. <laughs> what? That's weird. Attention, all students. There yes. has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Okay, Please okay. stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do okay. not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? She didn't repeat. <laughs> um, incident. What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> Don't disturb them. Go home immediately. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I always love that. Talking, talking. Talking, talking. Transition. <laughs> so my character is not, hey, like, moved. Are you going home by yourself? Uh, I would assume so. Why'd you come with us? Oh, interesting. First day getting invited by a chick. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? 
Chie Satonaka. Hello. Of course you do. Are you plain indignant? Let's go, of course. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Why are you sorry? Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. Oh, she's apologizing for the girl because she just burted in and... I guess... It, oh, yeah. <laughs> this kind of seems normal to me, but okay. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Okie dokie. So we're having a chat along the way. Here comes Pain. Oh, Miss Satanaka. Oh, look, it's bleak looking student now. Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. What, what did he, did he break something? See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Okay. <laughs> oh god. And he banged his crotch again. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Okay, okay. Broke her DVD, and he's hurting his groin for the second time today. This kid not going nowhere. Oh, my trial of the dragon. I I know I don't like this. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? <laughs> that picture going with that trying to be all bravado, like, oh, are you worried about me, huh? huh? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Expecting her to kick him there. Okay, so she likes whatever that DVD was. He looks like he's a lot of pain. You should leave him be. <laughs> I love how we just play indignant. The game's like, yeah, he's in pain. Don't get involved. Move along. We're gonna You're be Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? That is a that is a strange student. What? Who who are you? Other students are What's gathering. What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san. Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. What the hell was that? I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> Did I just get an invite? I can get invites from the PSTV thing? No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? What? What's the Amagi challenge? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine. <laughs> I love that. Uh, a student comes up and asks and then gets angry when he gets rejected. Fine, run off. What, what did he want from me? Um, probably a good look at you. What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Duh. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? <laughs> There's always that bumbling idiot that's always optimistic. I'd rather not. And boom. <gasps> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, mm -hmm. you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. And there you're he goes. just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. More students are gathering. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. I, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, do get in. Then my character nonchalantly just goes with the flow. I'll accept that. <laughs> Hello, old man. Second time I've oh. seen him. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Well, like we were like a delinquent and got kicked out or something on the run from the coppers? There really is nothing here, huh? What? What are they cooking? Cooking? <laughs> Growing their rice? What are they? That's rice what food? makes it nice. 
But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! Okie dokie. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Why are you, like, boasting for your friend? Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Going. Okay, so she runs a family inn. It's very popular. One of those, like, secret resorts that you can get away from the big city from type deals. I don't think that's entirely true. Looks like she's getting flustered over it. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Oh, God. Um, it's hard to say. I think so, yeah. I'm pretty cute. Oh, I knew it! I mean, just because you think a girl's cute doesn't mean, you, you know, you're going to invite her out for a nice movie dinner and some hanky-panky, you know? Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Please let me ask her how many boyfriends she's had. Come on, stop it. And for a blush face. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Flustered. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. What is like the big city such a deal? Big deal from? Hey, what's that? I, I, uh, oh gosh, gasp! What happened at the coppers? High schooler left school early, and as she came down this street, oh no! <laughs> this is Big the end. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time when we find out when we find out what happened to the high school girl that left early as she came down this street. Peace, Mother Eleven out.